Okay, here's the latest experiment. Um, it's uh, the same motor that I showed before with the supercapacitors only. They're on the back side. They're on the receiving side of the of the situation. And I'm driving the motor this time with one AA rechargeable battery that is supplying this with about 1.3 three 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 four volts right now and these are a better scenario than the uh, supercapacitors because they discharge uh, at the same voltage for a long time and then they drop off real quick the supercapacitors I found out they're real great but when they drop off they drop off real uh, linearly so your voltage on this particular motor um, it, it keeps the uh, RPM dropping off. You have to keep adjusting the potentiometer to keep the RPMs right. You need a voltage regulator for it. Change the wheel. I've got a wobbly wheel with a bunch of magnets on it. And I discovered uh, through research that inertia has a lot to do with this. If you don't have enough mass in motion, um, it hinders this uh, Bedini motor scenario. So. I made a, a larger wheel with more magnets and more mass and of course it's wobbling around because of the way it's set up here but um, that helped it run at low voltages. The other thing I did was I connected the, the permanent magnet motor in here uh, with the supercapacitors and the supercapacitors are going right into this permanent magnet motor so you get the feedback loop back into the system into the permanent magnet motor so um, it's kind of a closed loop system um, in a way now this will drain down of course this will drop off and drain on down but I wanted to see what would happen because when you do this when you put energy back into this part of the situation it's like reducing the friction and uh, what it does, it makes the wheel easier to spin because you're putting energy back into this and it makes it go around easier, which um, will be interesting to see if it, it runs any longer than it did before. It's drawn about uh, 40 to 50 milliamps right now. And uh, these are uh, batteries are 2100 milliamps. So we'll see how long this thing runs for. But... Uh, this was an interesting little experiment. The, the uh, supercapacitors were a good thing, bad thing. They uh, will charge up real quick off of uh, power supply, but very slowly on the Bedini circuit. Um, you need something larger to capture the radiant energy spike, the big spike coming off this thing, than these little uh, supercapacitors. Uh, they're made for a quick charge, quick discharge type situation with a lot of energy through that where the battery scenario um, is better for parts of this motor situation. Anyway, that's the latest, uh, the latest part of this little supercapacitor experiment. And the motor is now running on 1.3 volts, 40 milliamps.